He is the most athletic quarterback on the Raiders roster right now. Quarterback from Texas A&M. Great pressure. Brown gets away. Anthony Brown slides. With both of the Raiders quarterbacks currently failing to pull ahead as the starter, Anthony Brown Jr., the former Oregon Duck and Baltimore Raven, will have every opportunity to win the starting job this preseason. A lot of people don't realize that Anthony Brown has been on the team since last year. After being released by the Baltimore Ravens, he was signed to a future reserve contract by the Las Vegas Raiders while Antonio Pierce was the head coach. Well, one, he's played and started in this league. You know, he's done well. I mean, extremely athletic. I remember we brought him in at the end of the season last year, uh, champion myself, and he did a hell of a job in the workout. He gives you a different dynamic. Very mobile, very athletic, good out the pocket, a good poise about him. I do believe if Anthony Brown does ball out in preseason, there are going to be fans pounding the table for him, and I think head coach Antonio Pierce might be attracted to his style of play. But the big question is, who is Anthony Brown? Anthony Brown Jr. started his college football career at Boston College. He was redshirted his freshman season and then played and started in 2018 as a redshirt sophomore. He started all 12 games and actually threw for the second most passing touchdowns of any sophomore quarterback in in Boston College history. Later on in 2019, Anthony Brown unfortunately would deal with injuries and then he would eventually transfer to the Oregon Ducks where he would get his shot to shine on the big stage. In 2021, Brown would finally get his shot to be the starting quarterback. He would start all 14 games and pick up 10 wins for the Oregon Ducks. He would throw for 2,989 yards and he would also rush for 658 yards. All of this production led to the Oregon Ducks quarterback leading the Pac-12 conference in total offensive yards, 3,851 yards total in the air and on the ground. He is a true dual threat quarterback and we saw one of his first big games against the number three Ohio State Buckeyes against a young freshman CJ Stroud. Brown was able to duke it out with CJ Stroud in the air and on the ground and the Oregon Ducks picked up the victory. Anthony Brown never had big names at wide receiver when he was with the Oregon Ducks compared to somebody like CJ Stroud throwing to Jackson Smith and Jigba, Chris Olave, and Garrett Wilson at the same time. Brown was not expected to be the hero while he was with the Oregon Ducks. He was a game manager, a guy who would have some read option plays and use his legs. And the Oregon Ducks primarily ran the football and he had a lot of clean games in that 2021 season, having 15 touchdowns in the air and also nine touchdowns on the ground. He he was able to take care of business almost every time against teams that the Oregon Ducks were supposed to beat. However, against Stanford, the Oregon Ducks lost by one possession. But a big thing that a lot of people don't point out is that the Oregon Ducks had to play this game without their offensive coordinator because of an illness. The final game of his college career against Caleb Williams and the Oklahoma Sooners in the Alamo Bowl did not end well for the Oregon Ducks and Anthony Brown. They were unable to score at all in the second quarter. But one thing that a lot of people don't point out is the fact that his head coach at the time left for Miami before this bowl game. Anthony Brown Jr. had to play the last game of his college career with an interim head coach, but he was still able to throw for three touchdowns and 300 yards. In 2022, Anthony Brown would enter the NFL draft and the scouting report on this guy had some mixed messages. He was obviously an athletic quarterback who was a threat to leave the pocket and gain positive yardage at any time. And he also had the arm strength to make NFL throws with effortless deep passes. But his big problem was his accuracy with the football down the field. Not only did scouts criticize his accuracy, but also criticized his decision-making skills, saying that he needs to improve his pre-snap recognition skills to read defenses and see blitzes. Unfortunately, Anthony Brown would go undrafted, but then he would land with the Baltimore Ravens, a perfect situation for him, able to sit behind Lamar Jackson and an offense that caters to skills similar to Anthony Brown. Brown is currently 26 years old. When he was a rookie in 2022, he was obviously 24 years old and fans were interested in the young prospect as he did make some plays in preseason. However, he was ultimately beat out 
by Tyler Huntley as the backup quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, and he spent most of the 2022 season on the practice squad. But out of nowhere, in the final game of the regular season in 2022, due to injuries to Lamar Jackson and Tyler Huntley, the practice squad quarterback Anthony Brown was thrown into the fire and had to start against the Cincinnati Bengals. The rookie was thrown into the fire, and obviously he was no match for Joe Burrow and the Bengals. He was sacked four times, gave up a fumble, and also threw two interceptions, three turnovers total in this game. But a lot of fans noticed that after all of those turnovers, he really started to settle down and make some clean passes and completions and move the football down the field. The dude was the third string quarterback, not taking practice reps throughout the entire season. This was a tough task for him to pull this off at all whatsoever, and it makes sense that he had a rocky start. The next season in 2020, 23, Anthony Brown would remain on the Baltimore Ravens team and he would get some opportunities to play some serious preseason games, most notably against the Washington Commanders in week two. He was able to throw two touchdown passes and for the most part, he looked comfortable, able to connect with his tight end, make throws on the run, but it was obvious at times that he still did struggle with his accuracy. However, nobody could deny this guy's athletic ability and he was a complete highlight reel during preseason and you saw it even more in the final preseason game in week three, technically the last game that Anthony Brown has played in his career so far. Against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, this guy made some serious plays with his legs, able to break tackles from defensive linemen and extend plays and get some positive yardage. And honestly, his stats in the air did not look that great during this game, but you still saw him make some solid completions at times, and the wide receivers that he had did him no favors. They dropped wide open touchdown passes. This dude's stat sheet could have looked a lot better if some of these other receivers just executed. But Anthony Brown was sort of caught in a hard place. There's pretty much no way he was going to beat out Lamar Jackson, obviously, and also Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley has started some serious games for the Baltimore Ravens, and their team is really comfortable with him as backup quarterback because he's done it before and been successful. So Anthony Brown Jr. was eventually released by the Baltimore Ravens in 2023 until, like we mentioned earlier, the Raiders signed him to a future reserve contract while Antonio Pierce was the head coach and I think that's an important thing to bring up once Antonio Pierce became the head coach with Champ Kelly who is now the assistant GM at the time was the interim GM with Antonio Pierce in late 2023 both of those guys worked out Anthony Brown and decided to give him a shot and make him part of the mix in 2024. Now, I know the Raiders have signed Gardner Minshew to a two-year contract with $15 million guaranteed. They also have Aiden O'Connell, the former fourth-round pick, who I think is likely to make a big jump in year two. But the Raiders also have Luke Getze as offensive coordinator, who, yes, has spent some time with the Green Bay Packers and worked with Aaron Rodgers. But most recently, Luke Getze, the offensive coordinator, worked with Justin Fields on the Chicago Bears. So the Raiders offensive coordinator most recently has familiarity with a mobile quarterback. And I think that's something that the Raiders will want to implement in the 2024 season. Keep in mind, they're going to be rolling a lot of 12 personnel with two tight ends between Michael Mayer and also rookie Brock Bowers. And none of the other quarterbacks with the Raiders right now are a threat on the ground. If you want to run the read option, defenses are not going to fall for it and believe that Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell are going to keep the ball 50% of the time. Anthony Brown, in practice with the Raiders recently, had a sexy play alert from Raiders team media Levi Edwards reporting on this. Anthony Brown took the ball to the house on a read option. He's been a sneaky contributor since minicamp. And keep in mind, teams have paid quarterbacks before and a guy comes out of nowhere and becomes the starter. Think about Terrell Pryor in the 2013 season. He ended up winning the job. Matt Flynn did not impress with the Raiders, despite the fact that he was getting paid tons of money, much more money than Terrell Pryor. They still decided to go with the mobile quarterback who they thought could give them a chance to win some games. Vic Tafer of The Athletic also made some comments early in training camp that two of the best throws of camp have come from Anthony Brown. Let's keep in mind, I think he was being a little sarcastic here. This was happening before pads went on. Now, I'm not not saying that the dude's for sure going to be a starter. I'm not saying that. And I'm also not saying that Aiden O'Connell or Garner Minshew are doing poorly right now. The 
Raiders are learning a new offense. They're going up against their own tough defense in practice, and we're really not going to know how well these QBs are doing in this system until preseason. But we do know for a fact that Raiders head coach Antonio Pierce says he's still waiting for a quarterback to step up and say, AP, I'm the guy. And Antonio Pierce was an undrafted player himself. He's also made it clear that he doesn't care where you came from, how much money you're getting paid, where you were drafted, whoever he thinks is going to win him games right here, right now, that's who he's going to start. So there's going to be no politics that's going to impact him choosing some guy over another. And if this job is truly going to be one during preseason, I think once people see Anthony Brown play, if he starts making some plays with his legs, if he's able to have a mistake free game, people are going to start asking, hey, when can this guy get some reps with the ones? And if none of these other quarterbacks really impress anybody, and if the Raiders are going to be this defensive team that's a run first team doing a lot of 12 personnel, then maybe somebody like Anthony Brown could be good enough. It is a possibility. He could be a game manager that's able to extend plays, get you some first down sometimes with his legs once things break down, and primarily just complete safe passes. That's all the Raiders need to be successful right now. They don't need a superstar at QB this year making tons of heroic throws. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes on this guy during preseason, and I know you will too. Catch myself, Wi-Fi Willie, and Dial Up Audrey live during the preseason games this year. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.